So lads, um, here we go. <laughs> I never really expected to do um, a video like this, but um, of course, things move, things change, and I guess it's now time to really tell you what's been happening behind the scenes in the last few weeks and months. So as the title says, and uh, it's not lying, I am in fact moving away from the UK. Um, Brexit apparently does no longer mean Brexit. This has been planned since like November, December, around Christmas time. And since then, we've been working towards this. And now it's really come to a stage where it's, it, it's gonna happen. And um, I thought I might as well, because I've always told you guys things that happen in my life, um, personal or just, you know, new things that happen in my life. Because for some reason, you guys just seem to care about me. I always try my best to be transparent to you guys um, about just everything really um so yeah so let's just um speak about the last 12 months that's led to this um right now last year i was living back in burnley um i had my own house which i paid 575 pounds to live at plus also rent and bills so probably like 700 pounds to live at so um it was my own house in burnley back home near my family near my friends near burnley football club of course and um I wasn't really enjoying it that much. I enjoyed being with my friends and playing football with them. And of course, I enjoyed being close to, you know, the club and that. But I kind of felt like I don't want to really stay there forever because I feel like there's a lot more in the world to kind of see. And from what I proved before that, I lived, I lived in Newcastle two years and I still went to pretty much every single game from Newcastle while living in a, you know, in a city with a, a lot more opportunities there. I kind of realized that I was, I wanted something a bit different and I love Burnt to bits. I love, of course, the football club and that. When I was there, I barely even saw my family that much. Like, my, my, my dad and my stepmom live literally, like, down the road, like, a two-minute, like, drive away. I don't think my stepmom even went to see my house once. And, like, my dad popped in, you know, like, maybe five or ten times the entire year. Maybe not even that, like, five times. So, I realised that seeing family, even when I literally lived there, barely even happened. But, of course, lives change and, you know, like, things happen with things. Shout out to my brothers, you know, they've always kept in close touch with me. But, you know, everyone's lives change and I barely even saw my family which is main, which is the main reason why I went there for so with that I decided to move from Burnley into a YouTuber house back in um, August so I moved in with the guys which involved um, Curbs, Nerdfire, Brooksy HD, It's Saber and Flair and um, it was on the Leeds area um, and it was a really nice couple you know two three months and that uh, many things happened inside the house which I mean I don't think it's really worth mentioning, but let's put it, let's put it this way that it wasn't a very nice environment to be in. Um, it really wasn't. Situations happened. I was out of my control. Um, so I had to do with the neighbours and one thing led to another, and the house was kind of just broke down. I liked living there, and I would not mind staying there. I think most of the house also preferred to stay there until at least after Christmas, but um, for other reasons, um, someone put a house notice in. Um, when I don't think that most people really enjoyed um, leaving the house so soon because we invested a long time of our lives to get towards, you know, getting a YouTuber house and we, it felt like it just kind of got given away instantly. So that's one annoyance. Now, before I moved to a house, I was, of course, in contact with my current girlfriend and my girlfriend now, Sonia. Um, she lived down London. I was talking to her when I was in Burnley. Um, we got on quite well, you know, touching Discord for a long time. And, you know, it was nothing really serious because I know that I lived up north and she lived down south. So, us have a relationship is, you know, kind of, it's going to be kind of complicated. But um, when I moved to Leeds, because she knew the people inside the house, and they, they were, you know, friends in there that they knew each other. Her, she came up to the house in Leeds and, you know, we actually met each other. Everyone in the house knew that me and Sonia liked each other and we were talking. And, um... There was people to the house which um, tried to ruin that for us, which was very frustrating. Get in the way and you know, fill her head with things which I don't really appreciate. Basically tried their best to completely destroy whatever me and Sonya had at the time. With that, when we had to move out, me and Sonya had to um, get a new place because, because Sonya was looking for a house of bleeds at the time. And I was um, also now looking for house too. As we were both looking for houses, we, I think in that first month or two of being together, we got a house together, which is the house that we're in now in St. Helens. At the time, I wanted to come back to Burnley because that's where my, you know, that's where my friends are. But, um, and also where my football team is. But I couldn't find any houses there which uh, would suit what I really wanted at a price which I wanted. Most houses there are very expensive and most of them are all tenants' houses. And I have no issues with tenants' houses, but with my job, 
it's just not doable. I lived at a semi-detached house back in Battleford. That's where, that's where I lived last year. The neighbor which I lived with, even though I only had one neighbor, was still complaining 24 seven and was alerting the police and alerting uh, my, my, my estate agents and completely harassing me for absolutely every single noise I made. Live streaming or making videos in the middle of the day, they would non-stop harass me. And I was just one neighbor on one side. So I can't live in a tenant's house, not because I don't mind it, I don't, I, I don't, I don't care. It's just for my pure job sake, I don't want to deal with a house which I feel like I'm being listened to 24 seven. So that's why we moved into a house which is you know, very much detached, and that is why I went to St. Helens instead of Burnley. I know, I know that some people find it confusing or why I couldn't go back to Burnley. Um, that's the reason why most, house, most houses then wasn't detached or semi-detached, and most houses then, um, if they were, were very expensive for our price range. So we got this place here. So since the month of November, me and my girlfriend Sonia, we've been living in St. Helens, and I've been doing my job, uh, Twitch live streaming, and also um, doing YouTube for the entire time I've been here, and I'll be hoping I'm doing that um, for another couple of years now. And it was around Christmas that we decided to um, look for somewhere else as a next step. And we were looking in places in England, around, you know, around Burnley, she always said that, you know, we want to go back on, you know, we want to go back to Burnley to get, you know, just have a new start, be near my family. And um, we looked and for the price that we were looking for, there wasn't anything there that was that amazing. And then we started looking at, you know, other places. Now, Sonia, she's Polish, but if you talk to her, you wouldn't ever expect it. Um, she was born there, but she's lived in London, like East London, since like she was like six. So she knows both sides of England and Poland. And she knows that, and she brought up to me saying that, do you even know like the price of living in Poland and how much things cost and how much is property and how much is the, just the cost of living there? And I had absolutely no idea. So we looked into it and for me to get a property in Poland, which is a full white property that you can buy from the council, renovate yourselves and have it as your own, it is no more than about 30, 40,000 pounds, which if you know anything about property, for like a simple tenant's house, like the property of the worst of the worst is bang, average tenant's house in let's say, you know, North England, not even South, not even London, but like, you know, North England, it's like 80,000 to 100 pound for a tenant's house. And some of his family, they work in maintenance and, you know, property, and they found a place for us, uh, which was available right next to where the family is, right next to a very nice tourist area with like nice mountains. So Poland has a lot of mountains, so skiing is very popular over there. So we had an idea that why not buy this property, work on it, renovate it, which costs like 5K, 5K for new boilers, new heating, new water, new gas, new flooring, new walls, new everything. Completely renovate the entire property and it'll cost us no more than 5, 6K to get the absolute simple basics done. Now, if you know anything about boiler systems, I don't know if you do, um, ask your parents if they work in it, but ask them how much will it cost to fit in an entire boiler system in, completely from scratch. New pipes, new boiler, new everything. They may say something around the price of maybe 2.5k, 2k minimum, depending on where you are. In London, it could be 4k, and it costs us 5k to do gas, and water, and heating, and flooring, and all of that. With the best of the materials also. Our current property is pretty big, so we're going to have one side as our own, and one side as an Airbnb. So it'd be our property, so we don't pay rent. So my £700 that I pay now to live will be... I know about 30 pound on like, you know, on internet. Internet there is good and cheap. Water, council tax is like 12 pound a month. The cost of living there is also insane for food, drink, going out to cinema, just normal stuff that you need to live. And I don't know if you've been to Poland or anywhere in Europe, but it's very westernized over there now. In like a 15 mile radius, there's like three, four, like your shop, like big shopping centers and towns with like a lot of cultured stuff in there. And just the idea of me living in Europe, uh, mainland Europe, and you know, let's say this weekend, let's go drive to Vienna. Go spend a weekend there. Go drive to Prague. Go spend a weekend there. Or let's just go to Bucharest or you know, Ostrava or just any random place. Just say, you know what, let's just, let's just go somewhere this weekend. That idea to me seems really exciting. And the fact that I've been saving my money. At the age of 16, my dad told me to go get a job because I asked him for like 25 pounds or something for like a night, you know, to go out with my friends. And he slapped me on my head and said, I want you to get yourself a job in next six, uh, in next six months. I will not help you because I think you need to learn to actually go out on your own whim and do it yourself. So I did. I turned 16 in July, so it took me until late November 
to get myself a job at McDonald's. It, it, that was my second ever job interview and I smashed it. I got signed up on a job interview. I actually smashed it and I was very proud of myself that I got myself a job pretty easily on my own whim. And with that, I learned myself the value of money. How much 10 pound is, how much 50 pound is. That's why you never see me put FIFA points on this game because it's, it's a complete waste of money. Never put points on FIFA because like that's 80 pounds or 20 pounds can go towards, you know, I can live of 100 pounds. When I was in Newcastle, I was a uni student, okay? 200 pounds from YouTube. So it's not much. And I got paid, I think 1.2K to live off for three, four months. So basically, I was living over 100 pounds a week, pretty much. But I'm stupid, so I spent most of that money traveling up and down the country to go to burning games. Most of my money went towards burning games. Just, you know, mega buses, it cost me like six, 10 pounds per time. It cost me 10 pounds or like 12, 15 pounds. And I did that week in, week out. Home games, away games. You can look back, look back in the 2016, 17 season, and you can see how many games I went to. And I went that, and I did that all for being a uni student, living off pretty much £100 a month and the rest of my money I spent purely on burning games. That's how much I love this club. So the choice is me and Sonia are going to go to Poland for the time being. So I know that you may be um, asking many questions right now and I'll try and answer all that. And if I don't answer all of them in this video, then I'll try my best to answer in the comments. But um, basically that I am in a very, very privileged position with YouTube and Twitch. And, you know, I got my own business in foot cards. These cards behind me, this isn't just props. This is my own business. I do FIFA cards in real life. This card too, and all the cards behind me right there, this is my own business. And right now, it's doing really well. So hopefully, long may that continue. We've also got a maintenance company as well. So, Sonia, she works on that side, in which she has, you know, she works on, she has workers, which, you know, renovates properties in England as well. So, we're making money there. My YouTube, my Twitch, my sponsor, my current sponsor as well. Right now, I'm doing very well for myself, but I don't like the fact that I'm paying a grand a month on the rent, the bills, the car insurance, which is, which is ridiculous. Well, in Poland, it's very cheap for that kind of stuff. For, for car insurance, it's much more cheaper over there. For council tax, it's much, much more cheaper over there. For bills, it's much cheaper over there. For gas and lecky in Poland, it's like 20 odd quid, I think. I think it's 20 quid. Well, here, it's like 70. For council tax for now, I pay 120 pounds a month. Over there, it's like 12. Our plan with me and Sonia is to go over there and to live our best life in your know, living like kings almost because we're earning good money right now and with that i want to save my money and then invest it into other property because i know that youtube which this will not be here forever and i know that so i don't want to regret not doing anything with my money and i'm going to go out i'm going to go see the world in europe and that and you know with money i save save my money to then invest into a property we've got we've, we've got two or three more things in mind there's like a mini hotel thing in the mountains of poland which is a very popular which is a very popular tourist destination with mountains and skiing and that um, we want to buy that out because buying property in england is just extortionate and you you can't get on a ladder without having a ridiculous amount of money now i know what you're saying now yo viz what about burning games what about that then well well i traveled six hours from Newcastle to Burnley every week on a mega bus. And you may say, why mega bus? Because the prices of train tickets was like 70 pounds per time from Newcastle to Leeds and Leeds to Burnley. It was, it was extortionate. So on a mega bus, it takes longer, yeah, but it cost me 10 pounds, five pounds at times. I don't mind taking the longer route if it saves me a lot more money. I don't mind that. That's the way, that's the way I was raised. Look it up. I took a bus to Paris from Burnley to Manchester, to Manchester Megabus to London, and then a bus from London to Paris. It cost me, I think, 20 quid, when it could have cost me 120 quid on a plane. That's how stupid I am. That's how cheap I am, but that's how I was raised to save my money. So, a flight from our nearest airport, which is called Katowice, I will take a flight from there to Manchester. And how much will it cost? It'll cost about 15, 20 pounds on Ryanair, of course, of course, Ryanair. Now, right now, if you look it up, it'll be a bit more you know, expensive because of the current virus. But Sonia, when she went back home from London to, you know, to Poland, it cost her three pounds at times. Three, five pounds. I, I should have a lot more money about so now I, I can just, you know, take a flight to Burnley and go see my family, go see my friends for like a weekend and go see the football. And I promise that I'll be doing that at least twice a month. Especially away games, like, especially if it's in London, I just fly down to London 
just fly down to London, Stan said, and just go to game and go see my mates down in London as well. Your FNG, out of all the Vlosh, hey boys. JCC, I can see all them lot as well. So for away games, I could just fly there. You know, if it's in Southampton, I could, I could just fly to Southampton. If, it, if it's in Newcastle, I fly to Newcastle. If it's in Liverpool, I'll fly to Liverpool. Or Birmingham, I'll fly to Birmingham. Like, I could just fly to the game now. Because most flights from Katowice to in in England, it's not that much tourism from England, so the prices are very low. That's why it's so cheap. It takes three, three and a half hours from Poland to Manchester Burnley. So if you don't think I'll do that, then you're mistaken, because Burnley till I die, man. I will miss Weatherspoons. If I will miss anything, it'd be Weatherspoons. And also, I love Sony to bits, and like I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't, you know, feel strong for, you know, me and Sonya. I know there'll be a comment to someone saying, oh, but you and Sonya have been together for like, you know, less than a year now. Um, well, officially less than a year, you know, this is this is stupid. Sometimes in life, you've just got to go with your gut feeling. And I mean, there's nothing that's happened to me and Sonya which me, that makes me think that there's gonna be any issue at all. Like we've had like one argument in the last eight months. And you know, you know, and you know what I was about? That was about me playing FIFA late at night. That's the only one argument that we've ever had in the last eight months. And that was because I played foot champs late at night. That was literally it. I mean, she, I mean, she's even got my name written on her arm, okay? And she asked me to marry her every day, so I'm pretty sure that we're fine there. Also to add, um, I will be living in a place called Czechian, which is in Poland, so it's right on the border of Czech Republic and um, Poland. Uh, very nice town, very, you know, very pretty. I've been there, very um, posh as well. There's, like, there's, there's a lot of really nice, there's so many nice houses in Poland. So many nice houses is insane. Sonia's house where she lives is is like it's insane and it cost them like I think one hundred and fifty K to make. And it's like a house that would be like a million in London area. It's like it's a nutty house, man. Including that, um I won't be in Poland forever. Like this isn't like I'm immigrating, never coming back again. Bye England. No. I'm young, so I wanna go see the world and that. I wanna go live with different cultures and explore. I think that that is important. I know many people in my life who kind of just stay in one place and I think they're kind of scared to you know, escape the comfort zone. And I know that, and I don't wanna be like that. I wanna go and have a different story and just go see what the world has to offer, man. So I'm sure that one day in the last like, you know, few years, you know, I probably will come back to live in England because you can take the boy out of Burnley, but you can't take the Burnley out of the boy. So I will be back. Don't worry about that. But I think to go away, and me on property, save money, not, not, not having to pay rent, living a, a cheaper life over there with the same amount of money. To then invest in the future, I think that is the smart thing to do right now. And also, how can I forget content? Yo, what happens to YouTube and Twitch? Well, Twitch would be pretty much the same thing. And with YouTube, the one thing which I always had in my mind that, if you haven't realized, I've uploaded a lot of videos. And for me, I always felt like a pressure to upload every single day just so that I could pay rent because, you know, I, I'm i not proud of every single video. There's a lot of videos like my Burn The Career Mode, which I'm proud of. I'm proud of my Burn The Career Mode. Um, I think it's funny and I'm really happy and I'm proud of that you guys enjoy it and I've been so attached to it the way, that, the way that you have. And I'm proud of that, man. And I want to do videos like, you know, with, with like FNG and JCC, just funny videos, you know, you know reacting to things and just making skits and... I would rather do content, which I upload two, three times a month, or so not a month, a week, where it's properly edited and it's proper good, than, you know, forcing one every day, just so that I can, you know, reach my money to then go by, you know, pay my rent. When I'm in Poland, I won't have that pressure to upload every day, no matter what. So, when I'm in Poland, I'll be streaming every day on Twitch, which, um, I think oh, I want to aim on Twitch the most as my main job because the thing is right with YouTube is that so many things are out of my control. So many things are out of my control, man. So CPM, if videos are going to recommended. Sometimes I've literally just uploaded and it just doesn't get pushed out at all. Like the first five minutes is like three views and then it goes up to like, you know, 30 then 40. But then like it usually, it doesn't have that, that, that peak that you need. If I would decide between YouTube and Twitch, I'll pick Twitch because I think that's a lot more consistent, a lot more reliable because you know, you make money there from donations and, subs and subscriptions. And if people like you, that means they'll subscribe to you. And right now I'm making good money there as well. Unless if I do something absolutely stupid, Stupid on Twitch. If I'm just being myself as I always am, then people still, you know, hopefully always like me and you know keep in keep interested and watch my content on Twitch. And I think that when I get older, I think that Twitch is the kind of more ideal platform because I think when you get older on YouTube, I think you just become a bit more eh. But I'll still be doing YouTube, and I think YouTube the content will get better because then I will be forced to upload every day and rush out content. So if anything, my YouTube videos, I don't want to feel like I'm pressured to upload for sake of it. I want to do content which I am proud of. Panic of how I must upload otherwise I won't be able to pay rent. Now that I have no rent, 
I won't need to have that sort of pressure. So I can just upload when I want to, and I still would want to upload, you know, every day if I have to, but I would only ever upload when I'm proud of the content itself. So if anything, the content of the channel should be better, a lot better, because I won't need to, you know, you know, rush it out. And my Twitch, um, should be the same thing. But yeah, um, I think that is everything right now. So hopefully you enjoy this video. That has been my update. Pretty big, eh? I don't think I've ever seen a YouTuber, especially in the people that says that they're moving countries. They're like, not America, you know, like, it's like, you know, Europe. So, this may be kind of, this may, this may sound insane to some people, which I'm sure it will, because it is, you know, a quite big, you know, change in my life. But it's something that I'm really excited for, man. I, I, I can't wait for it. I can't wait just to go and... Just see different people and different cultures go experience different food and when I'm like 50 years old I want to have a different story to some people. I want to say that yo, I lived in Europe, I lived in Poland and you know in Netherlands and you know and, and I don't know Czech Republic and Italy. I don't want to say that I've only lived in England my entire life because I find that kind of dull from, in, in my opinion and I'll still be coming back. So yeah man, this has been my video. I am moving to Poland and um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Oh yeah, I've also learned a bit of Polish as well so do it with Xenia. That means goodbye, I think. <laughs> Peace out, lads.